alberga oh. o piscina? No, no tengo una piscina. Ok, y una, y una piscina, ¿qué es, Michaela, en inglés? ¿Qué es una piscina? I want to say fireplace. No. Jorge? Tina, I remember relating it to fish. Sí. Uh, is it a pool? Sí, muy bien, muy bien, perfecto. Uh, Jorge, ¿tienen ustedes una chimenea en la casa? Sí. Uh, más, más que tres. Más que tres? ¿Hay más de tres chimeneas? Or, uh, more, more. I mean, um, more, more than one. Oh, I don't right. know. Um, um, three, more than one. I don't know what I was, I was trying to combine okay. two different sentences. ¿Cómo se dice more than one in español? Más uno? Más de una. Más de uno, okay. More. I was, más de uno. I couldn't think of than. So uh, my best guess was que. Yes. And, and I actually said. That right there is not something that translates literally. What you're usually, what you're literally saying is more of one, rather than more than one. Más de una. Mm -hmm. um, ¿Dónde están estas chimeneas, Grace Ann? Uh, una chimenea está en la sala. Mm -hmm. um, una otra está en Uh, el dormitorio de mis padres uh -huh. y una otra está en la biblioteca. Ok, muy bien. ¿O oh, también es una oficina de la casa de ustedes? Sí. Ok. Michaela, ¿tienes tu alfombra en tu casa o tienen piso? Sí, uh, I think dos. Yo tengo dos. Dos alfombras. Sí. ¿De qué color son las alfombras? Okay. No, no, no. That's not what I wanted to say. I wanted to okay. say what. A ver, voy a escribir en el, en el chat a ver si te ayuda. ¿De qué color son las alfombras? ¿De qué color son las alfombras? Un es blanco. Una es blanca. Yeah, una es blanca. And then... Una es verde, azul y roja. Muy bien, perfecto. Uh, a ver, ¿cuáles son otras palabras? Latina, latina. ¿Qué es latina en inglés? Bathtub. Muy bien, bathtub. Um, ¿Tienen, Michaela, una tina en tu casa? Sí. Sí, ok. ¿Cuántas tinas tienes en tu casa? Uno. ¿Una? ¿Una tina? Ok. Una. Una. Uh, Grace Ann, ¿cuántas tinas hay en tu casa? Um, hay tres tinas en mi casa. Muy bien. Uh, normalmente, Jorge, ¿te tomas una ducha? ¿O te bañas? Normalmente, lo voy a escribir, normalmente te tomas una ducha o te bañas. Normalmente... I'm so saying normally do I take a shower or a bath? Sí. Or do you bathe? Okay, yeah, una ducha. Una ducha, ok. A las muchachas les encanta bañarse en una tina con agua tibia. 
a las muchachas les encanta bañarse en una tina. Oh. Mm. Me, no. me ducho normalmente. Sí, ok. Um, ¿Y tú, Michaela? ¿Qué es lo que haces normalmente? Me ducho. Ok, sí, porque es más rápido ducharse, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, sí. muy bien. Okay, vamos. Okay, remember what animal you are. Gosh, George, again. <laughs> Congratulations. Muy bien. Okay. Cementerio. Alberca. Okay. All right. Let me exit here. Some of these you have probably seen for the very, very first time, okay? All right, so what we'll do, we'll just take turns on the pronunciation of this, okay? So, Grace Ann, ¿cómo se dice esto? And then read it in Spanish and then tell me the translation, por favor. Aeropuerto es aer airport. <laughs> Muy bien. Do you want me to keep going? No, uh, George, I'm sorry. Okay. Agencia, agency. Muy bien. Alberca, piscina, pool. Muy bien. Uh, almacen, almacen. almacen. I don't know what that is. Okay, that's fine. Let me say something about the almacén. Almacén, it, it's a strong vowel, but it has that accent on there. So you spend just a little bit more time on the pronunciation. So it's going to be almacén. 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 Okay. Almacén. Almacén. You got it. Almacén is a warehouse, okay? Warehouse, and in, if you happen to be in Spain, it's also considered a department store, okay? As, oh, Asil sorry. Asilo, or mm -hmm. asylum. It could be an asylum, yes, but it's also a nursing home. And um, if, so the word asilo, represents a special location either for people with, of course, you know, emotional mental problems, but it can also be considered a nursing home. And it is a nursing home in this case, but yes, it can also be an asylum, but we're not doing that one this time. Okay, Michaela. Auditorio, is it an auditorium? Yes, ma'am. Avenida. Boulevard, mm -hmm. probably a boulevard or an avenue. <laughs> Perfect, muy bien. Jorge. Banqueta. Uh, banquet. banquet hall, 
this is cafeteria this along those one, lines like i don't know the word to describe it actually this one's difficult there is no correlation for it um but i did include it because it's something that you find around in the city and it is a sidewalk hmm. Hmm. so Banqueta, like and I need to fix it. L let me write this down so I can fix that. It's not a sidewalk, it's a sidewalk. Um, the other thing is, I've also noticed that certain locations don't have sidewalks. In small towns, in Boonville, certain areas around our town, they don't have sidewalks. So but in a city, you find them absolutely everywhere. A little cultural thing. So if any of you find yourself in, uh, in Latin America, in Latin America, if there is a young man and a young lady or a man and woman walking down the street, the man is going to be on the outside and the woman towards the street and the man, I'm sorry, and the woman will be on the inside and because it's very dangerous so it represents that the man is protecting the woman so if you see people walking around town more than likely customary the man will be or the young the male will be on the outside and the woman will be on the inside where he is protecting her from harm's way so there's a little, a little side note right there. Barberia. I said it, Michaela. I'm sorry. What's a barberia? Barbershop. Muy bien. Chrisanne. Basurero. Muy bien. What's a basurero? Um, I don't know. Basurero. I'm not sure. This is another one. No correlation. It's a dump or a trash can. Mm -hmm. But in Spanish, sorry, basura, basura. I'm gonna try something here. Basura, basura means trash. So basurero is going to be a dump or a trash can, okay? All righty, let me take this off. Oh God, I can't remove this now. Okay. Biblioteca. Well, you do what? Biblioteca. Library. Biblioteca. So, what is a biblioteca? A library. Muy bien. And we had that already. A lot of people accidentally think that a biblioteca is a bookstore but a bookstore is actually a libreria so <laughs> okay we know this one i'm gonna move on calle what about calle street muy bien street campo de football uh, soccer field muy bien jorge carretera is a butcher shop no but it could be on the way to a butcher shop. It's a highway or a freeway. Oh yeah, highway, freeway. Mm -hmm. You're thinking of carniceria. Oh, yeah. yeah. Carne, not car, yep. Now, the yeah. other thing you can think of, it has two R's. So, you or can think the, of the- The first three letters of a car. Do what? The first three letters are car. Yeah, there you go. And I like drive a car on a highway or freeway. I like your your uh, correlation a lot better than the one I was going to think about. So I'll just leave it at that. Okay, muy bien. Carpet area. Carpet. Say that again, Michaela, please. Carpinteria. Mm -hmm. Carpinteria. Remember the you and I. Are but all others are strong. However, when it has an accent, it becomes a strong vowel. So then you pronounce it. Carpinteria, carpinteria, carpinteria. Okay. And it is a... Is it a wood shop? Yes, it is. Muy bien. 
We know this one, right? Casa hogar. Que es Gregson? A house. And the house. Word, so casa is your house. And what about hogar? Home. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. Perfecto. Jorge. Carcel, prisión. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, the second one is prison. First one might translate to jail. Perfecto. Michaela. Carnesaria butcher shop. Perfecto. Grace Ann. Cathedral. Cathedral. Perfecto. Um, Cathedral. Muy bien. Cementerio Panteón. Mm -hmm. That is a uh, cemetery. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Central, downtown. Muy bien. And centro is also the center of something, okay? So it can be downtown or it could be the center of something. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put your assignment on Canvas and um, I want you guys to focus more, not only on, on locations, but also with directions. So for example, if I was to say Walmart, Está al cruzar de mi toro. What am I saying? Walmart está al cruzar de mi toro. Walmart is down the street from mi toro. Close. Is to the... Al mi cruzar. Is across the street? Muy bien, uh -huh. Across. Al cruzar. Y si digo, if I was to say, uh, Casa Bella está enseguida de Walmart. Casa Bella está enseguida de Walmart. Behind? It could be behind. Um, I was thinking of it next to, but if it was behind, what word would I use? De trust Muy bien, está detrás de, perfecto, okay? So those are the words that I want us just to focus on and to polish up. So, all right, um, like I said, I will have this on Canvas for you guys. Remember, there's flexibility with the due dates. I just want you guys to practice. We had a very good Zoom session. And if you guys have questions, don't hesitate to email me or um, just like I said, say, hey, I need to do a Zoom session, whatever the case may be, so. All right, I'm going to stop my Zoom share. So, cuídense, you guys take care and do something to reward yourself, whether it's eating chocolate or going for a run, or you go for the run because you ate the chocolate. But y'all enjoy yourself and take care. If y'all need anything, remember, I'm, I'm here to help in any way that I can, okay? Okay. Bueno, hasta luego. Bye, adios. <laughs>